I'm getting my hair done today so I thought I would bring you guys along with me. The salon that I went to is called Tanaz Hair Body and Nails and it's such a luxurious homey salon which I felt very cozy at when I had my treatment done here. When I arrived, they brought me a lovely pot of tea which I enjoyed whilst waiting for my colorist to do a consultation on me and it was just so nice to just have a few minutes of me time and just relax. My hair hasn't been colored for over three years and it was almost virgin hair so I was really excited for a change. It's important to make sure that you show your colorist exactly what you want and the best is to take photos so they can have a visual of what you're looking for and what you don't want. Shaleen did the color test on me and with the gold it makes my skin look very orange and it didn't suit my fair skin complexion too much but with the silver it was a lot more subtle but I've tried the cool undertones before and I don't like it so what we decided to do is to throw a little bit of gold and silver together for a bit more of a natural blonde. It's also important to do a color assessment to see which undertone of color suits your complexion best and this won't necessarily be the same for everyone so because my skin tone is very fair a harsher undertone won't be as flattering as a pastel shade might be so for me the softer the better. So now that Shaleen knows exactly what to do and exactly what I want, we can start on mixing the products. The product that we used is the L'Oreal Blonde Studio and I was very excited to try this out because it's really a new product. And here Shaleen is just mixing three different textures of products to give me the most beautiful shade of blonde. This container is a bit more of a creamy moisturizing texture whereas the other container is a bit more of a pasty peroxide kind of texture. We went for a very natural balayage and for those of you who don't know what a balayage is, it's basically free hand painting onto the hair which leaves quite a bit of root space so your colour can last longer and you don't necessarily have to pay so many visits to the salon. We used two different shades of blonde to blend in with my current darker blonde shade and as you can see here she is hand picking where the colour goes for the best result. As we went higher up, Shaleen covered the sections with foam to create some heat because the top sections need a little bit more help since they have a shorter amount of time to develop. After about 15 minutes, I made my way to the sinks where a lovely lady rinsed and massaged my head while relaxing on these very comfortable chairs. It literally felt like I was in heaven these few minutes. I love head massages, I love when people are playing with my hair, so this was just pure heaven for me. I also got a little bit of a trim and Shaleen made sure that my hair looks flattering in all styles, so she combed it in different styles and directions to make sure that it flows very nicely. I almost got a heart attack here because at the time I had no idea what she was doing but what we're doing is basically just feathering some of the sections in the front just for some effortless and lighter styling of the front pieces of my hair. To prep my hair we use the L'Oreal Dual Stylist Texturizer and Blow Dry Cream which smells so good and it's kind of like a serum and a blow dry cream all in one and Shaleen just gently massaged that into my hair for some extra texture and volume. The blow dryer we used is from GHD and it's so perfect for a sleek and stylish blowout because the air blows in one straight line. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is the final result. I absolutely love my color. I think the blonde is so much more vibrant and alive. And I hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you for your next salon visit. Thank you so much to Tanazi and Beauty Bulletin. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.